The final flight, if you will, for the Space Shuttle Endeavour, this time with the assistance of a giant crane to lift the orbital into its final permanent display position, the orbiter. Here's a live look now from Air 7 HD, the big lift already underway. Eyewitness News reporter Sophie Flay, live at the California Science Center in Exposition Park. She has a front row to all the action. Sophie. Mark, that's right. This delicate process is well underway. And take a look behind me. You can see Space Shuttle Endeavour already in the air. This has never happened outside of a NASA or Air Force facility, so this is a big deal. And once it's in here, it will attach to the front of the external fuel tank upright. The goal is to basically make it look like it's about to take off again. But this process alone could take anywhere from 4 hours to 24 hours to complete. Space Shuttle Endeavour, the orbiter that strolled down the streets of LA, will be airlifted into this unfinished building tonight at the California Science Center. This is incredibly difficult, and I'll be honest with you, I'm a little scared. The white rocket boosters and orange external fuel tank are already in place. The last phase is getting the shuttle attached in its ready to launch position. It's a big deal because we're building a building and putting a major artifact in it at the same time. Garrett Raceman rode Endeavour to the International Space Station in 2008. He says seeing it arrive in LA more than a decade ago was emotional. And today, man, it's I just seeing this right now. I'm like tingling. It's 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 really cool. The 122 foot orbiter will be airlifted by a 450 foot crane. This half finished building will be the Samuel Ocean Air and Space Center once construction is completed. A $400 million project with Endeavor as its centerpiece. So we're very fortunate, very lucky, lucky to get the shuttle and then to get all have all the pieces here. And here's another live look from Air 7 HD of that orbiter in the air. You can watch this live. I mean, we don't know how exactly how long this will go on for. Again, it could be four hours. It could be 24 hours. And you can watch it live on the California Science Center website at californiasciencecenter.org slash live. Live in Expo Park, Sophie Flay, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. It is incredible to see, Sophie. Thank you for that live report. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.